All right, this is the way I have found to fix our Frigidaire Gallery ice maker. It is model FGHB2866PF3. The ice machine stops working on a regular basis. This is the most convenient and easy way that I have found to get it working again. First, now this is different videos showed me different things. First, take the ice tray out. And take a towel. And stick it in here. Just like that. Next, you have to run the diagnostics for the freezer. So, um, I found out there's different ways to do it according to the instructions manual and everything else is service manual for it that the, they don't give you you have to hunt down but other videos showed me how to do this and this is uh, I also found another thing that none of the videos and the actual uh, um, tech manual for diagnosing and working on it doesn't show you so basically you press a series of pairs of buttons, right, to do certain things. If you press the plus and the minus together, it sets a defrost. If you press the up and the down together, it starts a manual diagnostic where you go through the menu and you force it to do every single thing that you want it to. If you press the down and the minus together, it goes into a self-diagnostic mode. But there's a couple tricks to that. So here we go. You want to get a cup and put it right here. So get your cup, set it right there. And we'll see if this works. What happens is if I press these two for a few, like, you know, less than 10 seconds, and it goes beep beep and nothing happens there's another process we have to go into so we'll, we'll see what happens but press these down you hear that nothing happened that means we need to force it to do that and the way i do that is i start the um self manual diagnostic which is pressing these together so you press these together. That's the menu that'll pop up. And then press plus for a few seconds and it resets. There you go. Now when you press these down, it does that. Blink, blink, blink. That means it's starting. You can hear it. It runs through the process of diagnosing and, and, and all this little systems click on and off. And that's the ice cube tray opening and closing. You heard the motor running. It'll do this for a while. What I've noticed is that it does not stop on its own like it's not going to reach the end and then decide that it's done okay. testing the water coming out one cup it's pretty handy if there was a way to do that on purpose this is a measured cup you can hear it filling the ice cube tray now inside All right. and then it's going to in a little while. See, dumping the water out, 
that it just put in there and it's going to drop some ice cubes because it was still has ice in it. If you're quick enough, you can catch those and put them in your drink. That's what the towel's for. So I'll let it go through this process on its own for a little while. And you just wait it out, you know, I don't know, a minute or so, a couple minutes, and pause the video. All right, so it's been going for a little while. <clears throat> it still blinks, doesn't ever stop. You know, it doesn't stop on its own. Uh, to exit a normal menu, you press this plus up for like 10 seconds. But when you're in this auto diagnostic, that doesn't work. So you have to force it back into the uh, manual. So press these together. Boom. We are now in the manual diagnostic. If this had not worked, you could then go through here and just zip through the manual diagnostic. I'll show you how. You'll want to put your cup back. Alright. You press up, 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 up. And then whenever you hit one of these that says off, you just hit the set. And if it changes, it's something that you can check. Um, some of these are the lights and things like that. Like, uh, I don't know what they are, but exact. I, there's a list. Sometimes it's the sensors, they're off because the doors are closed or whatever, but click up, up, okay. up, say on, it's like a vent fan, they're different systems, there's a list, you can hunt it down, just go through these. Sometimes you can look and see what's going on in there. Some of them are fans that vent in between. Some of them are checking the, the thermistors. Some of them are just the lights. So that's a vent fan in there that balances out the temperature between two things inside the refrigerator and the freezer. That's a door inside there. That's the door right here. That's something like that you can't check. These are your temperatures. Inside the refrigerator, inside the freezer. Okay, so you did that. You went through the process. Now you exit by pressing plus. It'll then reset the refrigerator. Boom. Now all you have to do is reset your temperatures because these don't work for us. Go to options. You can turn quick, quick freeze on so you get ice faster. Set. Go down to fridge temp. 33 works really well for us. Set. Set. Freezer temperature. I like minus two. Set. Exit. Now you'll make ice. Another thing you can do, which sometimes is a third process because it won't be in it, is also doing running through the defrost. So press these together. Once you've done that entire thing, and it'll run through. The defrost process. There we go, that was the last time. I did it again. It's a little, say, DF 
for defrost. And then it'll just go for like, I don't know, 20 minutes or an hour. I'm not, I've never sat here. But by the time it's done, by the time you've done all those things and you run the defrost, which will is automatic, it'll stop on its own. Um, <clears throat> it'll start making ice again and it'll work for about two weeks. Make sure you put this back. And that's it. That's a pain in the ass. But, um, you know, we bought this refrigerator used off somebody for 500 bucks, thousands of dollars, and the new ones have the same stupid problem. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Hope this works for everybody out there in the world. Work for me. It's worked every time, right? So, yeah, look at this. Let's look at this here. So this is what I made. You can write these down. Press plus and minus together, activates the defrost. Pressing up and down together, activates the freezer manual diagnostic. Pressing the down and the minus together, activate the auto diagnostic. Press plus for 10 seconds-ish to uh, exit and reset the fridge. Plus up and plus together activates a manual diagnostic for a different system. That's probably the refrigerator, not the freezer. I don't know. I don't need that one, but it does that. Notes when you're doing this. Press up and down together to exit the auto diagnostic because it won't, there's other ways, there's no other way to do it. And it enters the manual diagnostic, then you press the plus sign to completely exit. Make sure you pull the ice tray out first and put a towel in there, because if you're dumping the water into your ice thing, it's gonna freeze, and then you're gonna have a giant chunk of ice that won't get moved out of the refrigerator. Um, make sure you put a glass under the water spout or a cup. After you uh, see or hear the ice tray dump, you can, you know, pretty much stop there. I let it run for a little while, but, um, <clears throat> and then make sure you redo the freezer and the fridge dumps. So I was, you know, making this video for my wife because I'm leaving town, but I hope this helps anybody else out there that has a problem with these freezers. There's a bunch of different videos on different things you can do, but... This seems to work every time, and it is the most simple. After doing it ten times, it's kind of in my head, but it is a real pain in the butt to begin with.